I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what change data capture in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So by using change data capture, so we can detect or record changes made on database. So suppose sometimes user insert, update and delete the records. So by using our CDC change data capture technology, so we can detect anything happen in the table like insert update delete and one thing so by using change data capture so it is store historical records as well as current records so suppose if user do any update on the table so it will keep previous record as well as new record so add here the first is so to enable change data capture on database so we should execute this sp that is store procedure cdc enable db so if i execute this one so add here command completed successfully so add here this is enable on escort database so add here escort add here it's a selected now here after let's go to escort now here after so let's refresh that so how do we know how do we know uh, cdc that is enabled on escort database so at a go to table now here after select on system table so at a six other system tables it's created so if at your cdc enable on any database like escort so at your six or table it's a created so that means cdc that is enabled on database now here after if you go at this point on adam database let's refresh that and here let's select adam now here after go to table now here system so there is nothing inside system tables now here this is the adam it's a selected now here after execute this query so command completed successfully now here after refresh adam once again so add here let's go to table and here go to system table so see add here six or different system table it's created so that means cdc that is enabled on adam database now here after so uh, we need to detect uh, anything changes on the database so for this we need to first enable sql server ascent so right click here after you can find a start now here after click on yes so it's a, a starting sql server ascent now it's a add here it's running currently see at here green signal that means it's a running now here after the next thing is so add here enabling or table cdc on table okay so we should write add here exe sys that is store procedure and here table so source name source schema that is dbo here dbo and here this is the table name and here row that is null or you can say it any other so i am going to enable add here selecting source name that is emp so emp it comes inside add here adam database so adam database it's a selected here adam database now i am going to enable cdc on emp table now here after let's execute this query so it's a executing that means it's enabling cdc on emp table so add here cdc capture started successfully now here after if you replace this or uh, system table now here you can see one extra system table that is created name is dbo emp ct now here after you can see so add here or uh, if uh, or cdc enable on table so add here you can find one two three four five so find extra or uh, system column it's added now here after the next thing is so first add here 
CDC captured columns. So I want to this one. So by default, it returned all columns of the source table are executed. Right click here after select top thousand. So add here this is columns column number name job it's a displaying id one two three eight here ordinate and here this is the tab it's a displaying now here after the next is change table so return one row for each table in the database right click here after select top thousand so currently i'm using uh, emp so emp has enable cdc so that here capture instant on EMP. Now here you can find create date and here partition date. Now here after the next is CDC. So I will discuss this one later. Now here after CDC LSN time mapping. So here you can find LSN time mapping. Now here after so here this is the time mapping LSN start LSN here begin and here end here. So about to Add here SLN time mimic return one row for each transaction having two changes. So this is the use add here. Now here after the most important or system table that is CDC capture. So here this is the capture instant that is so EMP here and here CT. So by using this we can detect either insert update, date, whatever things happen in the table. So by using this, we, we can check. Now here after, so if you execute this one. So at here, I did not change anything. Now it's all displaying at here blank. Now here after, let's do some modification on EMP table. So at here, edit top 2000. So first I'm going to delete this one. So there is a one operation deleted now here after suppose or uh, emp clerk that change the job hr to add your manager okay so add here going to write manager so one delete operation one update and here after going to do one insert so add here going to write for five five and here let's give the e name. So at here going to write Dirk. And here let's give the job that is it. Now here after let's give high date. So at here giving 90, 99, and here 09, and here 07. And here give the salary. So 20. $300 and we are giving DPT number that is 40. So three things that I just did. One is deleted and here one insert and here clerk change the name manager. Now here after previously that is the add here everything blank. Now if you execute now here you can find so first Add here 1. So 1 add here that is 7499. So this is add here Alan. So one important thing here you can find 1. So if you get add here operation 1. So that means add here delete second for insert and here third for data before updates statement. And here for data after update statement. So add here first that is for date. So I deleted this record 7499. Here after before it was HR. Okay, now I change this job to manager. And here after I insert the record, add here to that indicate insert and here 4455 name EMP name or Duke and here job ID. Now here you can or check. I date here. Sandy DPT number. And here this is uh, SLM here dollar seek back. So this is the most important 
on this table. So by using that, we can check or uh, either in table insert, update, or delete operation that happen in the table. Suppose if I do only update, okay, going to change at here four four five five emp number giving at here or uh, job that is tester. Okay, let's write at here tester. Now execute that one and here after execute this one. So here you can find job that is changed. So three and four. So three that is previous previous was ID after doing modification it's changed to test. Okay, so Dirk that is inserted. Okay, next three four three that is previous or that is after so previous ID after changing test. So this is the use of CDC in Microsoft SQL Server here. Yeah. So by using this or table we can detect anything changes happen in the database table. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.